All right, hey folks, Jesse with Southern Reels Fishing, and today I'm going to be installing hull protection on the side of my 2019 Outback. As all of you know that fish around obstructions, like bridge pylons and stuff like that, these kayaks can really take a beating, and barnacles and stuff that gather on these pylons are not kind to this plastic at all. My pro angler over there is actually a very good example of that because I didn't protect the hull early enough. I looked into a bunch of different options for this, basically came back to the old El Cheapo version that pretty much everybody does, the easiest to install and the most reliable cars being out on the water and, and easy to replace if you ever need to and pretty much what that involves is taking a piece of inexpensive uh, garden water hose that you can buy pretty much anywhere and running it around the perimeter of the kayak like so and using tape to basically adhere it to the kayak I've tried several different tapes. I, I tried gaff tape, which is a cloth backed tape. Everybody was talking about that online. I don't recommend it. The cloth actually allows water to get to the adhesive where it shouldn't. I've had it all taped up nice and pretty the first time I ever did it. Took it out, half of it fell off by the end of the day. So not any good. So I ended up going with good old Gorilla duct tape from Lowe's. You can't beat the stuff. Get the wide version. I think this is the three inch wide. Two courses of this around holding the water hose in place. It's all you would ever need out on the water. I've got it on my 2017 out back over there and I have been out at the Bay Bridge so many times getting banged against the pylons constantly fighting currents. You know, out there trying to catch sheep hit and drum and stuff. And it did an excellent job of protecting the hole on that kayak. So I'm pretty much going to do the same process to this one. And that's what I'm just going to show you guys briefly today how it's done. All right, folks, pretty much I'm just going to start here at the back corner of the kayak. You want to wipe the kayak down to make sure there's no oil or resins or anything on it that will keep the tape from sticking. And I'll go ahead and tear off a few small sections of the tape. I'll start working my way around the kayak. And these are mainly to, just to help position the hose as we go around and just kind of stick them through like this. About every two foot or so, I'll put a little square of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Now I'm pretty much just gonna take a rag with a little bit of alcohol on it and just work my way around and clean the area. I'm also gonna wipe the water hose as I go, just to make sure there's no uh, dirt or debris or anything on it. Now you want to put it on the part of the kayak that protrudes the most, which on this outback and my other outback is pretty straightforward. It's right around this ridge right here. Uh, now I'm praying that that's a different story, but we're not doing that today, so I ain't worried about that. But just keep in mind when you do it, you want to have it on the part of the kayak that protrudes the most, pretty much. I like to taper the end of the hose down like that, just to make it nice and neat. And we'll start right here on this back corner. Take this piece of tape, tape it to it. Just kind of stick it roughly where it's going to go. And then move forward, get right on that ridge. Same thing. Tape. Just kinda, we're just kind of placing it right now, what we're doing. All right, we're just going to do one side at a time so we can keep up with it. Now this is something that there really is no exact science to it. You just kind of got to keep messing with it until it looks right to you. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running the long courses of tape. This is something you just kind of got to take your time with. I basically start it about halfway at the water hose and just go ahead and stick it to it. You're not going to get this wrinkle free, so don't even worry about it. Once I get it stuck to the hose, then I kind of just start working my way down and sticking it to the hole. See, it's got wrinkles and stuff in it, but just don't even worry about it. Like I said, it serves its purpose, and that's what counts. All right, I'm just going to continue this process. All right, folks, I'm just going to continue on to the front. As you can see, it's not perfect. There's wrinkles and stuff in it. But once again, it's not to be pretty. It's to provide hole protection. And this is the easiest way to do it that I know of. So what we're going to do now is run another course on the top.
So folks, I mean, just like I said, it's no exact science. Unfortunately, I've run out of duct tape, so I actually have to go get some more before I can finish this project. But that's pretty much the gist of what I'm doing. I've pretty much got this side done. All you have to do is just finish taping it. And then a lot of times I will come back over the seam with another piece of tape. And that's pretty much it. You're secured. The water hose is nice because it's hollow. It has some impact absorption. So, and I do recommend taping the front here very thoroughly because this is going to take a lot of abuse when you start bumping into pilings and stuff. Uh, so definitely tape the front area very thoroughly. The back area as well where the hose you know, first starts attaching and it'll last a very long time. This tape is pretty tough. And there's a good chance when you pull this tape off there will be some residue on. Uh, a little bit of mineral spirits will take that right off, no big deal. But at least the kayak itself will be protected you know, from being compromised from constant abuse. Once again, it ain't pretty, but it works. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm just gonna continue doing it once I get me some more tape. That's it. Thanks for watching.